Hey guys, and welcome to the Bayern View. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about Bayern Munich and do we need a number nine? Now, it came out um, in discussion with Julian Nagelsmann and he was asked whether Bayern need to uh, get an out-and-out -out number nine to unlock it, blah, blah, blah. And we'll read what he has to say in it. Yeah, what he had to say uh, in a minute. Um, but I want to I want to put this into discussion, put it into discussion with you guys, the viewers, um, you know, the people that make the buy and view what it is. Uh, and let me know what you guys think. Now, before we get into this one, if you want to enjoy, smash the thumbs up, hit the big red subscribe button if you haven't already and you want to see more daily content um, around Bayern Munich, you know, match reactions, previews, live streams, kit videos, blah, blah, blah. Um, with that said, though, we're going to be talking, like I said, about a number nine. So do you think, I'll just pause this question and then I'll carry on with the video. Do you think Bayern Munich need an out and out number nine? Now, we lost Lewandowski um, and that's what it is. We brought in Sadio Mane. We've got Serge Gnabry on a new deal. But both of those aren't strikers. They're not strikers. They can play that particular role. But they are they out-and-out -out number nines like a Harry Kane, Suarez, Lewandowski? No, nowhere near. They're flair players. Um, they can play the role. And realistically, they're playing it very good at the moment. But, um, you know... Just to pose that question in general, let me know what you think. Now, let's carry on. So, like I said, Julian Nagelsmann was asked about this, um, and he was, and I'll read it here. Um, Julian Nagelsmann asked whether Bayern Munich uh, needs a number nine to unlock the deep blocks, uh, and then he replied saying, this discussion only came up because you, uh, you asked a question. Which is very, very... I like that from Julian Nagelsmann. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll read that again. This discussion only came up because you asked the question. We had 35 shots that should be enough to win the uh, the next games. Uh, we also had um, six to seven heading chances that should also be enough for the next games. Which I 100% agree with the manager there. You know, the only reason this is coming into fruition and coming into question, coming into you know, the view in general is because we had all of those shots and we only got a draw. Can we also put respect on Jan Sommer's name? Jan Sommer isn't a Bayern Munich keeper, nor do I want him to be Bayern Munich keeper, to be perfectly honest. But one thing's got to be said, he always turns up against Bayern and and in the game that we drew with Borussia Mönchengladbach 1-1, the last game, he was fantastic. Absolutely, 20-plus saves. 20 saves, a double save with Sadio Mane, Thomas Muller header, you know, Pavard shot, Sane shot. Of course, Sane's goal actually did go in in the end. But you know what I mean? Like, there were so many shots that were taken at him. And they were good shots as well. Don't get it twisted. Any other game, you know, any other game. We had 35 shots. Any other game, you know, we scored six to seven. It, it, and that's not abnormal for Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich do that on 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 a weekly basis anyway, you know what I mean? Um, and that's why all of the haters say it's the Farmers League. But either way, screw what the haters say. But in general, though, um, do Bayern Munich need a number nine? For me personally, I'd say no at this moment in time. You know, you've got Leroy Sane in there. You know, you've got Coman. You know, he will eventually come good. You know, he's already been good. You know, uh, he didn't have his best game uh, and best performance in the last one. But before that, he was man of the match. So he will come good um, and just hopefully he can stay away from that injuries, uh, for, from injury. You know, you've, so you've got those two. You've got Serge Nabry. You've got Muller. You've got Muziala. You've got Sadio Mane, which is having an absolute blinder, by the way. He has scored realistically. Take the offside bullshit goals away. He has scored in every single game, every single game, I believe, for Bayern Munich, which is which is an amazing stat to to even put in there. I'm pretty sure. If I'm if I'm wrong with that, correct me. But I'm pretty sure I'm right with that. You know, now number nine wise, in the summer we were linked with everyone and the kitchen sink. I didn't even think we would go and get Sadio Mane. I thought he would extend with Liverpool. Um, I didn't even think that's a thing. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm very happy he plays for this club. Brilliant, brilliant player. Very passionate player. And I'm very happy to, you know, go on with him as, you know, quote unquote, our number nine. But before before that even happened, before we even knew that was going to happen, we were linked with Harry Kane. Um, and that was going to be for the next summer. We ain't getting Harry Kane. No chance. I'll be gobsmacked more than Mane, more than De Litt, if we were going to get Harry Kane. Because Daniel Levy, the main guy at Tottenham, is a stingy asshole. Just put it that way. He's very stingy. You've got to give him top, top price. There's a reason Erlen Haaland plays for Man City and Harry Kane doesn't. Because, you know, Man City put the money where their mouth was and realistically... That Tottenham should have took it, but they don't um, because the chickens want to keep Harry Kane for some reason. But um, Harry Kane, Romelu Lukaku, you know, before he went back to Inter, he was at Chelsea, 
wasn't going to play for Chelsea, we would be in links with him. Both of those players, I would say, are out and out number nines. Different players, but out and out number nines. Of course, Robert Lewandowski um, was the person we had. Patrick Schick, we were being linked with him before he signed his brand new deal. Uh, which, again, that would have, we would have had to give him a ridiculous amount of money for Patrick Schick. Even though I, I wouldn't have paid it, but I would love to have him. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Bayern Munich need an out and out number nine um, to, to beat those uh, deep blocks? To, to, for teams that double part the bus, triple part the bus, part the bus in general. Uh, and don't want to let Bayern through. Um, do you think we need uh, an out-and-out -out number nine? Um, you know, for me, 35 shots. Do you need number nine when we have 35 shots? I'm not sure. But let me know what you guys think. That's going to be it for the video. Smash the thumbs up button if you have enjoyed. Hit that big red subscribe button if you haven't already. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Mia Samia. Peace out. Thank you for the constant support. Uh, and have a great day.